Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, I'm Art. Nice to meet Bro, you. What? what? Dude, he literally, yo, Daniel literally looks like he looks like he's like one of Jesus's disciples or some shit, dude. What is this drip? Like Star Wars? He looks like a like he's a part of a cult. He looks like he lives in the desert with a bunch of other homies that dress up in the exact same way. Those shoes did not those shoes did not uh, complete the outfit with the rest of it, okay? Love your earrings. Thank you. Thank I love you. all of this. Thank you so much. <laughs> I still feel like an <laughs> but it's it's cool to see their outfits. Man dressing like he just booked it from Pompeii. <laughs> oh! Oh, what the? Okay, number one's oh, gonna okay. win, I think. What? What? Do you, wow. It's ridiculous. One. one for the gays. <laughs> Blind dating six guys based on outfits versus one. Oh shit! Oh, we got blind dating gay edition. Let's go, dude. I love this. Let's do it. My name's Art, I'm 29 years old. I am a full-time student, I work at a bar, and I'm also a part-time math tutor. I feel like for me, it's, it's less about what they're actually wearing, and it's more about like how they're pulling it off. I haven't found anybody who can like match my energy. I don't wanna settle for anything, so I feel like I definitely want somebody who's definitely gonna be able to keep up and you know, match me. I'm excited, I'm ready to see some good shoes. All right. 425 likes. Definitely got some different vibes going on here. I like the first one. I like these black boots is what they look like. Got some good platforms going on here with the second one. Mm -hmm. give, me, give me a little show. I see these look kind of like athletic, right? Something, maybe something like that. Maybe a little vibe. Okay, okay. I feel like these are like your favorite shoes. Oh yeah, they've gotten... Replying to a tweet made in 2019, 2022, that person ain't right, Lamau. It's not even... I, I, Bad tweet. There's some stories behind these. No, they're, they're, I feel they have it. character. I feel it. Okay, cool. I like that. I like these ones too. I like the colors going on here. And then these last ones. Wow. I was like very under. That's fire. <clears throat> these shoes. <laughs> these shoes. Those are you fire. Can trust your drunk self. He's made better decisions than sober me ever had. Yes, contestant number one. <clears throat> if you were going to be on a TV competition show and you were going to win, what TV show would it be and why? Mmm, good question. Yeah, you probably okay. nailed it. Where you have to like do the worst possible baking job. I like to have a, a good time. Okay, I like that. Contestant number two. F Mary Kill, The Rock, Harry Styles. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and Bretman Rock. Okay, so I don't know Bretman Rock, so I will have to kill Red flag. Him. Red flag. Imagine not knowing who Bretman Rock is, dude. Red flag. Him, okay, but I don't know if he's sexy or not, That's so fair. I might. He's dead. It's too late. I would definitely <laughs> f the rock. Okay, give me some of that big man. Contestant number three. Hi. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what is your uh, favorite like trashy TV? Probably gonna have to be The Real Housewives. I'm like currently obsessing over Salt Lake City. Yes. Um, and how Jen Shaw is about to go to jail for screaming all of those poor old people. I'm in there. Contestant number four. If we had to watch like an entire movie series for our first date, like binge watch it. What movie series are we gonna watch? For Netflix, I really like Ginny and Georgia. I watched that like five times. I'd oh, recommend it. Like that. Contestant number five. Who is like your all time best diva? To mine is Madonna. Okay, Madonna, that's a good choice. Contestant number six. He's panicking because they caught are, him. Like, your top three music artists? Ooh, top three, okay. Mm -hmm. Impress me. Oh, you know what? So I guess Ariana Grande is number one and she was actually the number one on my Spotify. I was gonna ask. Whitney Houston. Oh my God. And then Rosalia, you know Rosalia by any chance? I do. I've, I, I'm not too familiar with her music. It's a very like bad bitch, like Latin vibes. Perfect. And that's kind of like what I try to embody most. Isn't she literally Spanish? And that like the Rosalina stuff is that uh, the controversy there is that it's like colorist or whatever. Latin vibes. Okay, whatever. Hey, listen, I, I don't care. But she's definitely not Latina. She's, uh, she is Spanish from Spain. Days. My style, I try to describe it like a mafia son on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very specific. It gives me a good idea of what you look like. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh my God, as an Afro Puerto Rican, I love that you said that. Yeah, I know my, I know I'm my shit. I'm gonna eliminate contestant number two. No. I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> Oh my god, do I just walk around? <laughs> that looks happens. like common projects, but with like boosted. Oh my god, look at those this is pants. What you're missing. Oh, what a cute outfit. No, that's not a cute outfit. That's a dog shit outfit. What the f dude? Holy f I mean, look, I would wear those pants, but gray socks 
and a black tee no jewelry whatsoever that's a that's a dub for for my man right here that's a l outfit i mean i have pants similar to that i'm just saying so that like cute, man. that's not great like that's not great that, that's not a great like he has some pieces that could fit really well uh some pieces that could fit really really well in like a good uh you know a good collection but he's got it's like too plain up top what's your name i'm jimmy jimmy nice Hello, to meet you is it man she's on queer that. fashion icon thank this is you. not a queer fashion like icon eyes. are you crazy oh my god thank you <laughs> oh i hate it <laughs> i hate that part i wish i could get to know everybody a little bit more but okay oh wow SMH. Some of these I was not expecting. I see more of a vibe for contest number one, contest number two. <laughs> what material is this? You can it's feel like, it if you like. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. pleather. Actually, pleather. We love animals. Look at this. Very like flowy. Yes, very flowy. Yes. The bottoms don't really make sense, but when you I see it tied sense. to the top of the outfit, it makes a. a lot okay, more now sense. I want to see the top of the outfit. How the f would this? The, those shoes do not fit with whatever. The he's wearing in the bottom yeah, this is giving me like kind of like dad vibes oh i'm not sure if that's your aesthetic but I, I do like it contestant number five we're feeling the vibe we like this contestant number one if you were a drag queen or if you are what would your drag name be oh that's a good one yes i don't necessarily think i ever would be but if i was it'd be my best friend who's a queen's name probably cherry ripe or Let's editorial <laughs> edit for short Contestant number two. Yes, sir. What would be your housewife's tagline? That's oh, a good question. that is a good question. And I'm putting you on the spot. Beauty, grace, and resting bitch face. Oh. oh, wow. Contestant number three. What apps are you on right now? Oh, sh dude, I have all of them. Like, I have to put myself out there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Some guys are not on one app, like, and then some guys are on a different app, so I'm just like... You want to see all the guys? Yeah, let me just see all the guys. Okay, contestant number four. Worst date you've ever been on. Oh, shit. And why? Can I say I haven't been on a date? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a reason? It just the opportunity never came up. Okay. Contestant number five. Damn, Where he's signaling. He's signaling that he, like, recently came out of the closet, you know? Or that's a red flag and he's just on Grinder. He just straight going on our first date oh i do happen to work at a theme park that i will not name okay. and i think it'd be nice to go there um nice. you know especially like waiting for, in line for like rides there's a lot of time to talk and get to know each other nice i like that i'm not bribing you i'm just saying i come with benefits <laughs> <laughs> baby games are kind of baby games are kind of the worst wait why do you say that oh what <gasps> Um, okay. The first one I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number four. Hello. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's you had a good style. Eric. L. Eric. That's nice L. Eric. I'm Art. Art. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cute. Like his outfit. The only thing I was just nervous is that he's never been on a date. So I was just like, uh, I don't know if I'm ready L. for that experience. So, okay. And then the next contestant I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number three that was a ridiculous outfit i don't know how the f he stayed before the other dude nice to meet you nice to meet you what's, what's your, your name? name daniel daniel i'm art nice to meet Bro, you what the f what dude he literally yo daniel literally looks like he looks like he's like one of jesus's disciples or some shit dude what is this drip Motherfucker be like star wars he looks like a like he's a part of a cult he looks like he lives in the desert with a bunch of other homies that dress up in the exact same way. Those shoes did not, those shoes did not uh, complete the outfit with the rest of it, okay? Love your earrings. Thank you, Thank I love you. all of this. Thank you so much. <laughs> I still feel like an asshole, <laughs> but it's, it's cool to see their outfits. Man dressing like he just booked it from Pompeii. <laughs> oh, oh, what the? Okay, number one's oh, gonna okay. win, I think. What, what do you, wow. it's ridiculous. Number one, I was <laughs> not expecting that. Some, Surprise. Come on, body. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I like your nails too, love that. Thank you. Okay, contest number two. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I like this jacket. I love all the accessories He's shaking. <laughs> it's coming together, okay. Thank you. And then contestant number three, okay. Hey. Hi. Oh, I like your tattoo. Thanks. Oh, dude, this is the best one. 
Best yeah, dress. I got it this year because I thought the world was ending. And then it did it, and now it's awkward. <laughs> okay, so same question for everybody. Starting from contestant number one. If I had a really rough day and I came home and I was telling you about it, how would you comfort me? Well, I first would need to learn your comforts. Like, are you a Netflix girl? Are you a blunt type person? <laughs> Do we need to run to the dispensary? Do I need to have the blunt roll for you before <laughs> yes. you get home? So I don't necessarily know specifically, but just based on what I would do for a friend or a stranger, I think I, again, would listen and sit you down and try to- Bro, those shoes are so sick. You didn't apply the new Pokemon later? He has the best fit, Just like, the by the widest of margins. Like no one's guy. margins have been as wide as this man right here with respect to his fit, straight up. Like, actually f destructive fit. It's really good. It's almost as good as forgetting the top of the hour ad break and then running it 14 minutes in. This is really good outfit. Um, Miami Pat, thank you for the five tier one gift subs. And Coffee Dave, thank you for the five gifted subs as well. Uh, you know, because of the likes of Miami Pat and Coffee Dave and also the scum of the swamp guy that gave 200 gifted subs, many of you will no longer see those ads though. But if you still haven't gotten to give the sub, then GG's, you know what I'm saying? Because you're about to get served an ad unless you subscribe yourself for $5 or for free. Did you react to the reason XUC Kotaku article? Wait, what? What, what the f What do you think of these complicated patterns? No. No. Uh, anyway, here's the woman ad break now. Number one is a stand user. Yeah. Have you zoom out of the bigger picture and just uh, remind yourself of all your blessings and remind yourself that you're beautiful and you got this. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Contest number two. For me, it's all about setting an ambiance. So I think that when you get home, like the lights need to be dim, maybe some candles are lit. Just making sure that you're in like a homey space. Playing your favorite music. I'm probably gonna be cooking dinner already. Aww. So you know, you can prepare yourself for that. And just We're coming letting over you- after this. <laughs> <laughs> just letting you vent and unwind and, and kind of clear your space. I like that. Contestant number three. If I came home from a rough day, how would you comfort me? So first, hella sex. Going down. We're gonna get you forgetting. Wait, why do people keep saying I'm trending on? Why do people keep saying I'm trending on Twitter? I just looked. I don't think I am. But if it is, it's probably the 2019 tweet about how Poland is too white, which it is. You know, every society could benefit from multiculturalism, 100%. Like, there's not. You know, and the mother. To look at Africa like that other idiot that said like, oh, goes to Africa and says too many black people here. You are absolutely trending. I don't see it. Which partner Hassan spewing more anti-white hate? The fuck? Dude, wait, isn't this literally cancel culture? 21 months dankies. Isn't this actually cancel culture? Like looking at, looking at a, 2019 tweet and trying to work it into like Hassan is bad. Literally one guy. No, it's not one guy. Hassan's getting canceled. No, I'm not getting canceled, dude. You're not trending for the Poland thing. What am I trending for then? People think for you and what's happening tabs are trending. This is what happens every other day. You're always going to be on the for you for the people who reply to every tweet of yours. Yeah, that's true. In that, I'm feeling good. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Second off, we'll find who's making you have a bad day and we'll slash your tires. Oh, oh. love that. Actually, JK, I'll do it and then you lie to the cops and say I was with you the entire night. Oh, wow. I'm the alibi. I got you. Yeah, okay. yeah, there you go. Okay. I'll do the work. I'll do the work. Got okay, you. okay. Fair I got enough. you, babe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel like contestant number three just added some stress to your day on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to eliminate contestant number two. <gasps> I know, I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, I love your hair too. Thank you. You're nice cute. to meet you. Thank you. Too. I'm Art, what's your name? I'm Rollin. Rollin. I love your earrings. I get Thank that. You. The Just went to England. Too many British people. YouTuber, streamer, co host of Anime Boomers, a bimbo witch. Humble and nice guy. I saw him finding out the rest of the world isn't as diverse as Southern California. Wait, what? If. I don't, if Poland wasn't that white, we wouldn't be ruled by a theocratic fascist. Ethan Klein and Hassan carefully crafting their online personal, personal to be the most cringe, obnoxious people you've ever seen. Semi-artist, drunk ass, wanted in Spain. Professional slap fighter, streamer soonish. 
Why is it always like these dudes, man? Why is it always these dudes? He's like, oh, I'm going to be a streamer soon. No, you're not, bitch. You're not. Why are we doing this? Are we doing this because you guys want, like, are you that sad? Like, you want LSF that badly? That you're literally f***ing trying to link, like, random, no-nonsense, no-name accounts with, like, 90% of the f***ing replies going to be something along those lines of, like, yeah, I f***ing hate H3H3. I used to love it when he was doing, like, anti-SJW shit, and I'm still permanently stuck mentally in 2014, so now... I just, I hate him. And I've always hated Hassan, so I hate him more now, too. Like, the reason you're trending might be because of the American Patriot guy tweeted about you. It's Friday, then it's that guy's a f***ing loser. Yeah. He's got nothing, dude. We're, we're done. No more, no more, like, linking this, is this psychotic shit, Poland, dude. Snow White Sage. Also, England is very diverse, for the record. And it's cool. Like, there's no problem with diversity. Multiculturalism is good. If we're being real, I think. But anyway, I'm not trending. What? This tweet comparing you to the quarter pounder is pretty good. What do you, what is this? The quartering is literally the other end of Hassan and H3. Just as many skeletons in his closet. Just as hypocritical. Tea bag, number one source of tea. They're all cringe, especially the van one that is forced to spectate now. What? Is this like the extreme, uh... Is this like the dude? You're a T account. What the? Billy Hussein, Black Heart. Thank you for being transparent. Okay, I gotta stop clicking on these things. Please stop, 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 stop. Please stop. Please, please, please. You guys are trying to LSF stunlock me. Like, please stop. I'm gonna stop clicking on links. Okay, let's continue with this video. Holy shit! So cute. Sorry about that. Fine. <laughs> Super cute. Love his outfit. Love his hair. Love the vibe. Uh, okay. And then I'll eliminate contestant number one. Aww. I'm sorry. I'm so excited to see though. I'm excited to see you too. Uh, oh my god, I love uh, uh, these earrings. Everyone's been talking about these <laughs> earrings. I am dead. Can I give you a hug? Yes, please. I'm boosted. I just got my booster. Okay, good. good. Oh, you're so sorry. cute. Oh, thank you. You are too. What's your name? George. George, nice, nice to meet you, George. I think you're gonna like who you pick. <laughs> I don't oh, understand. Nice. Isn't it like, aren't these both bottoms? Like, nice you guys are so you. sweet. Oh. Motherfucker, looking like a stand user. This dude had the best trip by far. Hi. Hi. See, Hi. W. Big w. w. Big W for the homie. Can I, can I, can I, yeah, of course. My name's Art. <laughs> like what? the vibe. Like, I like the snake. I see the snake. Did you get it? Though? Yeah. Like, yeah. mafia yes. son on the Yes, I see it. I see it now. Ready to slash him tired. I said that tired. I kept thinking that too. I was like, damn, people are really gonna think like, this is a joke, guys. I'm not a criminal. All right, that was. Oh, this is all for wait, fun. you're not serious. No, I'm not. <laughs> you're not serious. You're not down. I mean, I'll slash some tires if it gets me a date. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else seems to work. Nothing else seems to work. I mean, let's go slash some tires. <laughs> let's go. I'll take you to the theme park. Damn, this dude's oh. like, I'm ready to do crimes for you. This dude literally I said, I'm ready to do crimes for you. Okay, that sounds like fun. I love. I would love that. So I really liked like his answers. I felt like we would really get along, and he seemed to really have that vision of what he wanted to like portray. I was. Look at those shoes, I would have guessed a straight guy picked them out. Are you kidding me? Those shoes are fire. What the f You guys are crazy. Those shoes are actually dope. Impressed by all their outfits. Oh my god, see, this is why I don't date. I'm so awkward. Y'all are weird. Fans are harassing top Twitch star XU for too much GTA roleplay. Community's gotten so toxic, it's even harassing a Twitter fan account. We have unfortunately noted a sharp increase of hostile complaints and target harassment in our replies. Please remember that we are an updates account with no direct connection to XUC ourselves. We understand that he has a large fan base with different tastes. What the f Not the XQC Overwatch updates account, dude. What the f Oh my god, it's at 60,000? Remember when my updates account, before like it got banned or something, uh, and, and the XQC Overwatch live updates account was uh, friends? They even like uh, tweeted about how like Hasanabi updates was the reason why they started their updates account. I, oh, did they deactivate over stand culture? I thought they got banned or something. But they were an updates account. It's like literally stand culture. I'm so confused. Why do... But th that's like... They deactivated? Yeah, XC went the fuck off last week or so in RP. He's banned right now for going into people's chat and harassing them and doing weird shit on the server. Pretty weird stuff. Wait, what? XQC got banned again? He's still doing the same shit? 
Dude, he literally cannot, he cannot stop himself, dude. That's why he had 100,000 people watching him again. I was like, what the f*** is going on? I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>